Welcome everyone to Cat Plays Repentance, episode 21. We are doing our first Samson run, and the seed is in the description if you guys would like to play along. If you guys think you've seen me dumb, do some like really dumb shit with uh, Judas and with Eve, you haven't seen anything yet. I love uh, getting really dumb synergies as Samson. Like, I just, I love it. Oh my god. Curse of the Tower and Samson! Yes! Uh, we also got a nickel, which is, uh, fun. Uh, let me unplug my headset real fast. There we go. It is finished charging, and also it was getting in my way. Alright, so yeah, uh, Samson is a character that rewards all of the stupid damage that I take. I used to not like playing as him very much, uh, but I've had a couple of very silly Samson runs that have kind of changed my mind. I'm warming up to the character. I still don't know if I, I oh jeez, if I necessarily like him as much as Eve or Judas. Um, I really wish that were technology too and not just technology, but I'll take it. Because why not? <laughs> I do think technology might be worse than just like straight up tears in a lot of situations. Uh, whereas technology too is fucking great. Uh, but actually the run I was just talking about that kind of changed my mind on Samson had technology as a decent part of it. It was... Uh, technology, Dr. Fetus, Gimpy, Fanny Pack, and, uh, IV Bag, which just, uh, absolutely insane amount of things to, to have in combination with one another. And I loved it. Of course I loved it. It's, it's a dumb, stupid, wild synergy that you wouldn't think of. Uh, it was one of my favorite things, so... <laughs> Getting all- I'm- I'm getting more money, which means potentially, um, this judgment card can find some use. But I am going to hold off just cause, you know, maybe there will be something at a shop that I want to buy. Uh, maybe the judgment will be stubborn and not pay out. Uh, these are both reasonable things. I'm also- I'm only one cent away from having enough to buy, like, a big shop item. Let's go see what's actually in our shop. Did I go in? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, uh, yes, the detonator. Okay, so I don't need to worry about uh, blowing up the... <laughs> blowing up the donation machine for one cent to buy detonator. Like, it's nice to have. Uh, if I have the extra cash, I'll pick it up, but... Uh, not, not for this. Uh, cube of meat. I like that we got a horseman. On the first floor it means that we have the potential to get super meat boy uh, it'd be even better with like a book of revelations in here uh, so it paid back our coin to get into the arcade which is great because this is not the best arcade I've ever seen um, we're going to refrain from going into the curse room until the second that we take damage, in which case we're going in immediately. The reason, obviously, okay, we've taken damage, so now we can go back for the curse room. Uh, the reason I was trying to refrain is because if we could have taken the spirit, the uh, heart into the, uh, all the way to the boss fight, it would have obviously heightened our chances of a deal with the devil. I will say there are not a lot of things that I would trade for. <laughs> oh, but it had to test that theory, didn't it? I think having more heart containers as Samson is kind of a boon for you. Um, but how do you pass up... How do you pass up Dark Bomb? What I was hoping for, what I was going to say I was hoping for uh, out of the deal with the devil is Gimpy. Because Gimpy and Samson, uh, even without IV Bag and Fanny Pack and all the other stuff, it's an absurd combination of things. Like, it's great. But, we're gonna take Dark Bomb. And, uh, yeah. 
I think Dark Bomb and Samson, it's not as good of a combination, especially on the early floors, as um, Dark Bum and any other character. Because obviously, uh, you're trying to take damage to boost your own damage. Like, the more damage you take, the higher your damage is. So, if you're seeing a lot of, um... If you're seeing a lot of red hearts on the floor, it means that you can do more blood banks, uh, you can do more self-sacrifice rooms. Like, you can kind of turn them around for your own use, as opposed to giving them to Dark Bum. But, you know... Late game, chances are you're going to have temp HP stacked on top of everything anyway. So, you know, it becomes less practical to, to kind of save... To use those red hearts, even if you are trying to take more damage, you know what I mean? So, uh, we're taking one of those dark bombs. I'm sorry, you can have the others. Yeah, so I I do think his synergy is not as good with Samson. That being said, I don't think his synergy is bad. Like, I want to be real clear about that. I don't think the, uh, Samson Dark Bomb synergy is anything to complain about. It's just not as ideal as maybe some of the other characters who really, uh, I would say that some characters kind of almost require Dark Bomb for a win. Cough, cough, blue baby. Uh, you know what? We can go in for free. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna spoil ourselves a little bit here instead of we can keep that judgment card around, so you know, there's there's no harm in getting getting a little crazy. Uh four yeah, we'll take it at four cents too. I think at six cents it becomes less of a good deal. Um, I you know what? Let's take Empress card and then come back for judgment I think is probably the way to do that we'll take the Empress card into the boss fight we'll come back for judgment I did not even realize this room was a thing I thought we had been to all the rooms <laughs> curse of the lost gets me every time um Another thing we could do is potentially just play the judgment. I'm at 21 coins. Uh, and restock is a really good item when you're doing well on cash. I my dream is to get restock and the, <laughs> is to get restock and then also get um, you know, like dollar bill and quarter and I, we have to take it right. Tech Zero has appeared in the basement. Alright, that's an achievement unlock for me. Um, not just for the save file, but in general. I think it's not used to me taking Tech X so often because I don't always enjoy it. Um, but yeah, let's go do this boss fight. Uh, we'll pop the Empress card. Uh, oh my god, Tech X and the Empress is fucking good. It makes me wonder why I don't like Tech X, but in in a second you're gonna understand why, because like I'm Should we do it? I'm saying yes. <laughs> uh missing page two. It might be like the worst of the page items, but I'm feeling Oh my god, Tech X! What is synergizing this well with Tech X? I seriously thought it was just the Empress card, but it is... It is not. That is just... That's a powerful shot, and I'm actually, you know... I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to jinx myself. But I'm feeling more confident about this run. Without, you know... And you know what? Uh, Dark Bum is helping out. I think we've already... And I didn't think it was going to happen this soon. We are only on Basement 2. Holy fuck. Uh, burning Basement 2, but still. 
I, I didn't think that we were going to reach the threshold this easy, this, this early in the game, but what I was saying about it is that I do think there is a threshold with Dark Bum. Uh, it, like, even with Samson, where it becomes more practical to have him than not. And I was thinking we were going to reach that threshold in late game. But, you know, if we want to reach it early, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Okay, our damage, definitely, our laser tears are still cool, but our damage is way less impressive without the Empress card. So we're going to need to see if we can find either some amazing synergies or some damage upgrades. Because, uh, even though the shots still look cool as fuck, uh, we're suffering a little bit in the damage department. How to jump is not a damage upgrade. I will take it. Uh, but I'll probably end up trading it if I can. Curse of the Tower is... Giving me problems again. Okay, uh, coupon I don't really want... Do I want compass? For 15 cents? Maybe not, but I'm gonna take it. I will say, uh, even, even with me, uh, complaining a little bit when I saw how not powerful our tears were without the Empress card, I think we're in a good position. Like, we're, we're hitting a good range of things, uh, even if we're not hitting them hard. And we've got the potential for some amazing synergies. Like, I'm not... It was a little bit disheartening in comparison to how well I thought we were doing. But it's not bad. We're we're doing okay. I'm going to the curse room. I, I'm sure it was obvious. You always want to go into the curse room um, before the boss fight when you're playing as Samson. Because obviously uh, that damage that you take is going to be a damage upgrade. Uh, that is the other thing. I've put a lot of the, the blame slash credit on the Empress card. But as Samson, you always, you know, in, unless you've taken no damage on a floor, the next floor is going to feel like a much larger damage upgrade. How is this going to work with Tech X? Like, I just have to see. Not impressively. So we're going <laughs> to just forget about that for a second. Uh, we need to see if we can find some arcades. Uh, some blood banks. A self-sacrifice room is less ideal because it does not take uh, the red heart damage specifically. Also, leech. Uh, something like leech or uh, the curse of the vampire. Like, those are items that would be really amazing for us right now. Because they would heal us for red heart damage. For, for red heart containers. While still leaving hearts on the ground for Dark Bum. Um. Nope. Alright. I don't know, I just, I had a whim. So yeah. Um, I know a lot of people don't appreciate the, uh, blood leeching items very much in repentance but i i think it could be a good situation for us i think they're a really powerful combination with dark bum and uh i i think they'd be pretty good for this uh samson run that we're cooking up i do need some kind of a healing run to some kind of a healing item to make this like more practical because i'm my damage is going to be low whenever I can't take damage, and right now I can't really support taking as much damage as I am. Gimpy is amazing for us right now, and I, I love it. I love it so much. I was kind of hoping for Placenta, but you know what? Gimpy's good. But again, we'll still need to be able to survive taking enough damage for Gimpy to work. So it's in, we're in kind of a, a tenuous position here. I forgot that we healed when we unlocked stuff. But I do think that is what Mom's Locket does. Okay, well, shit. 
a dark bomb for you. Pretty fly. Uh, you know, I'll take it. Oh boy, I am not gonna like this fight, let me tell ya. <laughs> this is gonna be annoying. Uh, I'm still at my low health. I, I kind of was hoping that this was gonna be a less annoying fight. Uh, Tech X is going to make this more tolerable, I think. Uh, Curse of the Tower also is not gonna hurt. I can't believe I had Curse of the Tower and it didn't even blow up the, uh, Tinted Rock for me. <laughs> My kind of Curse of the Tower luck. Uh, but taking damage, uh, gave us a small damage boost, so I'm not gonna complain about it too much. Would love... Oh my god, Goathead. Fucking yes. It might have been a little bit too late for Goathead to be its most impactful, but I don't care and I don't regret taking it. Even if this is the thing that gets us killed, I'm not going to regret taking it because I'm an idiot and or <laughs> because it's just going to answer so many what ifs. Uh, more than anything in this game, I love items and characters that answer what if. Uh, and I've talked about this a little bit in the context of Azazel. Like, Azazel answers a lot of what if I could have been able to get into that chest kind of consumable questions that you might have otherwise. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like playing as Azazel, even though people say that he's too easy all the time. And, uh, yeah, Goathead answers a lot of what ifs about, like, what if I had been better at getting into Deal with the Devil rooms? Or deal with the angel rooms, but obviously because I took... This is gonna drive me crazy. There's no way for me to get over there to get Transcendence. I completely lost my, my train of thought. Uh, I was talking about the goat head. It, it answers a lot of questions. Oh, yes. Because I took it in a deal with the devil room, it is not going to qualify me to get deals with- Oh my god, I'm so idiot. I, I'm, I'm so idiotic. I have how to jump. I can definitely make it over there. <laughs> and now I can get rid of how to jump. I completely forgot what my spacebar item is. I never- I, I think I would have retired if I had not remembered in time. Like, that just- that would have been the end for me. Not just from Isaac Let's Plays, but from- from everything. I would have had to quit. Um... You know what? We'll take Buddy in a box. I know I- Oh, that's Pokerco. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Not even the right item. Alright. Uh... It's fine. It's all fine. <sighs> but yeah, who gives a fuck what I was saying? I'm- I'm in a good mood. Now, because I have Transcendence, and because I didn't do the dumbest thing ever. I seriously, if I had not used How to Jump to pick up Transcendence, I, I would have been livid with myself. I can't- We put bombs inside your bombs. Does this stack with Curse of the Tower? Because things might be about to get dumb to the point that I can't survive them. Not like, oh, what a fun, stupid, great synergy I had, but like, really just, I'm not going to survive the floor. We'll see. We'll see how it stacks. Uh, but this <laughs> this could be the thing that ruins an otherwise perfect run. Perfect is a strong word. But again, I'm feeling good about it. Like, we've got Dark Bum and Gimpy on a Samson run. Our Tech X is doing something. Not necessarily what I would like it to do, but it is doing something. Mystery Egg has appeared in the basement, and I don't even know why. <laughs> yeah, see, already my damage seems to be getting lower and lower because I'm not healing as much. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! It does! It synergizes! Oh, it's so scary! <laughs> oh, I was already in here. Uh, Dark Bomb, do you want to come pick up this heart? 
I now have a second heart container, so I'm slowly recovering some of the HP that I've been trading away all willy-nilly. That sounds like a criticism of my own playstyle. It's not. I would gladly trade all of that again. What did that just say? Oh, uh, yeah, for... That was part of my <laughs> Pokemon item. Uh, something has appeared, evidently. I mean, we have to. We're playing as Samson. There's no reason not to go into a curse room. And we actually healed a little bit. We healed half a black heart for, for going in here, so... All right. Uh, poison bombs? <laughs> Again, I don't know if this uh, synergizes with uh, <laughs> Curse of the Tower, but just based off of what we've seen so far today, I think it might, which means I'm about to have poison scatter bombs fill the screen every time I take damage. Do the scatter bombs also poison... I kind of want to just, like, take some damage to find out. But we're not doing so good on health that I can intentionally take damage just to test shit. That we're gonna test anyway, because I'm, you know, also bad at avoiding damage. They are also poison bomb. Mini poison bombs. Holy hell. Now if we could get, like, glitter bomb? I found pills. I found pill. I sure did. I mean, you know, things just are going to keep getting more silly. Uh, this is not the kind of Samson-specific run that I was talking about, but I do feel like this one is very silly. I just don't feel like it's silly because I'm playing a Samson. This would be a very silly run no matter what. If I could find a way to incorporate taking damage a little bit more strongly, that would be great. I'm taking the damage. If I could find a way to make that more beneficial, that would- yeah, that's the part that I, I need some help with. I think I just killed a bunch of those things with my orbitals, and that feels so fucking good. Uh, we are, this time around, we're actually going to save our money for the judgment card. We're running out of floors where we can safely use the judgment card because once you get down to the womb, it gets pretty likely that you're gonna get a demon judgment, which as Samson isn't the worst thing in the world, you know, if it comes down to it, but with dark bum, you know. Again, sometimes it's just better to, to let him have those hearts. Judge, let's be be judged. Oh, dark bum. Oh, another tarot card. Love it. Love to see it. Not as much as I love to see black hearts, but I do still love it. I love you. You're doing great, dark bum. My orbitals are also doing great. Um, I haven't talked about them much, but Unsung Heroes of the Run, right? And that's a Justice card. Which is gonna be a another payout from Dark Bomb, who did, in fact, give me that black card that I wanted. Thank you, bud. Doing great. Oh, I need to remember I can fly, because that was some dumb damage that I just took there. Oh my god. <laughs> this scatter, this poison scatter bomb curse of the tower situation is uh, not the dumbest thing I've seen or done in Isaac, but oh my god, an eternal heart, yes. Okay, this is Necropolis 1, which means I could come back to the beginning for the eternal heart, but I don't think I'm going to. 
I, I think I'm going to pick it up on the way back and do the boss fight with it. Again, it's a little bit cocky. I, I probably don't have to do it that way. Oh my god. I'm loving this HP up, though. I'm actually going to get to a point where I'm going to want to stop picking up the HP upgrades just so that Dark Bomb has a little bit more to do. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to play the Wheel of Fortune too much, though. Uh, Faith up... I feel like healing might be a little bit better with Dark Bum, but Faith Up might also, like, not be terrible for me to have. Um, yeah, we, we are gonna go back to pick up Mom's Locket, though. I don't know how much stuff I'll be unlocking, so this might be a bad decision. But, we'll see. Uh, and with four heart containers, that's a combination, that's like a... That's a heart container temp HP balance that I am comfortable with, I think, once I get to four. Even five might be pushing a, pushing it a little bit. I think my hard limit for heart containers for this run specifically is going to be six. And again, it's just because Dark Bum is going to be, especially on the womb, if we can make it down to the womb, Dark Bum is going to be, like, really paying out with some red heart containers. And I want to give him, like, every opportunity to do that. So, uh, we got our secret room. The High Priestess, huh? Um, we could use the High Priestess in the next fight. And then... Come back for the Judgment. We could use the Judgment card. It's getting to that point where, like... It might not be a bad idea to just... Toss him into the game, you know? But... We've got, we've got a little bit of time, I think, before we need to worry about it too much. What a weird choice of items when I already have- Oh no! Telepills! God damn it! Oh, I've got goat head. So, it's gonna be okay. That should- that door should still be open for me. I hate being teleported out of a deal with the devil room, though. That is so nerve-wracking. We're gonna pick up judgment while we're here. Oh my god. Um, do I want Rotten Baby? Arguably, no. I guess we're gonna take Pony. <laughs> Because it comes with an attack, how to jump has gotten a little bit useless for us with flight. I don't know, man. This this whole run is just weird. Oh my god. So many chances for me to <laughs> blow myself up. I guess the dash attack can at least get us from one side of the room to the other very quickly if we needed to. Why we would need to, I have like no fucking idea, but it it could happen. Anything could happen. Uh, so I tried to make the decision as smart as possible, even though I you've seen the decision. Uh, my choices are very strange. Uh, and my damage, right? Like, I'm just- I'm not in love with this damage. There is an arcade, which means I could play that blood bank, and that would get me some good damage for the floor. Potentially, it could get me an IV bag, which is something that I would very much be into right now. So, let's see how we do. Shit. Ex 
experimental pill. Yeah, why not? Oh my god. Okay, so I don't need Scary Was the Night, right? Like, I just don't fucking need it. I have no idea how Tech X would actually even synergize with, um, what we've got going on right here. Let's find out! You only live once, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is absurd. I think it might be... <laughs> I think it might be worse than just Tech X, honestly, but it's so funny that I, I can't even really be mad. Also, Gimpy paying out during the curse room. Like, I just want to give Gimpy some credit for that. Uh, we've been doing good thanking Dark Bomb. I want to make sure all our, our team players are included. Um, I'm going to turn around and go the other way just because I'm a little bit afraid that I'll forget and go into the boss room. Thank you, Dark Bum. Uh, remember a floor ago? Like, one floor ago where I was trying to figure out how high I would feel comfortable going on heart containers, and now I'm at one, and I'm still near the HP cap? This is why we have these sorts of conversations, even though they often end up being irrelevant because I trade away health like nobody's business. Yeah, come on, Dark Bum. You've got this. Yeah. Um, the arcade is a little bit less relevant for me. Ghost peppers, yeah. Uh, another ghost pepper run. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit less good just because my range is- Oh! The range on ghost peppers apparently is not, uh, determined solely by the range on your, uh, tech X slash mom's knife nonsense. I will say, uh, when I was thinking about picking up Tech X with Mom's Knife. This is not quite what I had in mind for the synergy. Uh, I did think it was going to be a little bit more absurd. I, I was imagining, like, transparent... I, I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, I have Flight also that I, I should probably be using to not take damage from these fires. Uh, Justice, yeah. Like, let's pick some of that up. Dark Bomb. Uh, the Hermit. I'm gonna stick with Judgment. But thank you, Dark Bum. Um. That's just like a normal... ...thing. But uh, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Took some damage from that one. Whoop. Ancient recall. Uh, two of spades. Let's take it. The Emperor is gonna be really good to take with us. The Sun could be really good to take with us, but in actual practice. Okay, so first and foremost, oh, where'd it go? Uh, we're gonna pop this lover's card for Dark Bomb to go crazy with. Thanks. Uh, and then we're gonna pop the judgment card. Uh, I'm finally going to play the judgment card that we saved for all this way, because I think this is an opportune time to do so. And then I need to decide if I want to take the sun card or the emperor. I'm going to say the emperor, actually. Just might do us a little bit more good on the later floors, assuming we get there. I don't know how far down it's going to want us to go, if I'm being completely honest. And then, uh... Range down. I don't want that. Um... Yeah, I am going to sacrifice the half a black heart to go into the curse room. That's going to give us a little bit of a damage upgrade. Just for taking the damage. Oh, and we, we got, oh, you know what? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, so we got, yeah, a little bit of a damage upgrade there. We'll go take care of our last room down here. And, uh, yeah. Go do the mom fight. This has been... I, I will say this has ended up not being as silly of a run as it could have been and as I was kind of hoping for, but it has been fun. 
Like, it, it's been a fun time. I'm talking like it's over. It's definitely not over yet. I should probably go play the Blood Bank once or twice more also, but it's an inconveniently long point away. So, I wish that the text stayed up on the screen for just a little while longer so that I could read the names of these enemies. But, oh my god, yes, yes! You unlock something sticky in the depths. All right, what's this? Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna stick with the Emperor card. And this is gonna be my third time in this room. I already have flight, so I don't need to take it. Even though I kind of want to. I don't know why I want to. There's no good reason why I would want that. And that's why I didn't do it. But I want you guys to know that there was a temptation there. And I resisted the urge. I did the smart thing for a change. Okay. These guys... Oh! Ow. Okay. I know. So that's gonna balance out perfectly, except because we're Samson, uh, and we took damage, we're gonna get a damage upgrade to go with it. So it's actually gonna be a boon for us to have taken that dumb dumb damage. It does kind of tether the tech axe, which is annoying. I Like, it's worth it. Obviously. Obviously it's worth it, but it is a tiny bit annoying. I wish we'd had the full card uh, before I went into that curse room, but you know what? Thank you, Dark Bomb. You're appreciated. I love you and the work that you contribute to this team. You're great. You're doing great. Uh, I've been moving my way to the mini boss. Not on accident. Like, this has been an intentional decision that I have made. I'm not sure that it's a good idea for me to go to a mini boss on the womb. It worked out fine. We're fine. I'm still not sure it was a good idea, but it, you know, it's hard to argue with the results. Um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, mom's ring damage up. Great. We're gonna pick up this eternal heart. I actually really am not sure that we need it. But we'll take it. Um, they're they're offering very politely. So I it would be rude to refuse. I walked into that room completely by accident, but it didn't kill us to be in there. So we'll take it. And uh, yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Bum. Uh, damage up. Love to see it. Oh my god, that's a damage upgrade. Um, woo, okay. Not, not a huge fan of that. That just happened right there. The mark, damage plus speed up. Money equals power probably also could have gotten away with taking, but I... Again, I'm not trying to actively get rid of heart containers. It's just that they've been offering me so much good stuff, you know? Um, uh, there's a library. Can I get... If I could get a, uh... Well, obviously there are book items that would be better for me to have than uh, the item that I have in our present situation. So that is a consideration. Also, um, if we could get a bookworm transformation, I wouldn't hate it. It's going to give me a bunch of money now because I didn't take money equals power. It's going to try to, like, shame me. But I don't care. Because, again, I'm not, like, trying to... And money equals power. I, It's not my favorite item. Uh, and it's, it's a purely psychosomatic situation with money equals power. But it doesn't really show you the damage upgrades. Like, it, your tears don't get bigger. They don't get red. They're just... They're, oh, my God. Um... Bookworm. I'm not actually sure how this will work, but I'm excited to see it, if I'm being honest. Um, maybe it doesn't work at all. 
<sighs> All right, it's time for me to put uh my money where my mouth is. I said uh, in a previous video that I don't take Book of Shadows very often uh, and that there wasn't a specific reason for it. I just don't like it as much as other book items. All of that's true. All of that is like a thousand percent true. Um, but I also said that I wasn't opposed to taking it if there wasn't anything better. I actually think Telepathy for Dummies is more fun. Uh, but it's not better. I'm not gonna make a case that it's better. So, for that reason, you can see I'm taking Book of Shadows. I'm- I'm doing the smart thing. I honestly would rather have Telepathy for Dummies just for the absurdity of it. I did not think that was going to be able to reach him. Um, I should probably use Book of Shadows here. I unlocked Fighting Baby. Okay. <laughs> what would Brimstone... Okay. Oh my god. I'm. We have to pause the game. I can win this run, as is, with Samson. I feel pretty confident in that... But what the fuck would Brimstone Tech X mom t Mom's Knife look like? I, we have to find out, right? I, I only have to make it through the Satan fight. It didn't make any difference, did it? We just gave that uh, HP away for nothing. Alright. Now I feel very dumb for taking- I was gonna feel dumb for taking it anyway, but I thought we were at least gonna have like a really stupid story with it. Um... Oh, I should have gone one more room so I had the invincibility, but, you know, I think we're going to be okay. Is that the, like, is that supposed to be my barrage of, uh, tears from Brimstone? Thanks for giving me that little spider there. Okay, so uh, Blood Rites has appeared <laughs> in the basement. Um, the negative has appeared in the basement. We did it, guys. We're making progress. Uh, thank you so much for watching another very silly Samson run. Uh, our first silly Samson run. Another very silly run in general. And our first Samson run. And I will see everyone in the next episode.